shockwaves reverberated around the Barclays ATP World Tour finals on Tuesday as British number one Andy Murray was forced to withdraw as a result of the groin injury that he nursed through his opening match loss to David Ferrer. One of the, one of the tougher decisions you, you make uh, during the year if you have to miss an event like this. Um, I think a lot of the guys have, have probably gone through it at one, one point or another. Um, and yeah, it's not not easy, but something that was, I think the, the right decision to make in the end because I could have done myself some damage. Murray will be replaced by alternate Janko Tipsarovic. The Serb narrowly missed out on qualifying by right, reaching ninth in the race to London, so will be full of confidence in his opening match against Thomas Burdic. It's unfortunate what, what the way that I had to, to go in, but on the other hand, you know, I was I managed to play some good tennis this year. I came to this tournament as number nine, the chance is there, so I'm looking forward to use it as good as I can. The match the whole tennis world have been waiting for, the 26th meeting between the giants of the game, Federer and Nadal, was played in front of an expectant full house. And Federer, on a 13-match winning streak, was on top form from the off. It's a beautiful oh. shot. It's just a liquid whip, isn't it? It's so smooth. Nadal has won all three previous meetings this season, but after struggling through his first match win, was clearly a wounded animal there for the taking. Well, Federer's uh, building up a real head of steam here. It's won 12 of the last 15 points. While Federer was visibly purring, as everything he tried worked to perfection. And he finishes in style. Vintage Federer. After taking the first set, the defending champion had no qualms putting Rafa to the sword. Oh, well, it's just flying from both sides now, as far as Federer is concerned. Barely before the crowd had time to get comfortable, Federer was three breaks up in the second. Federer's outmaneuvered Nadal so easily this evening, time and time again. And as the match time ticked over to the full hour, a famous win was recorded for the Swiss star. A sublime performance from the Swiss maestro. Nadal humbled at the hands of his great rival. Very happy, of course. It was a, a great match for me from basically start to finish. I was able to do uh, what I was hoping to do is dominate from the baseline, play close to the baseline, serve well and take his time away. And uh, I was able to do that tonight. Hasn't always worked. I've also felt the power of Rafa in the past. So this is a um, great match for me and um, uh, a nice win, clearly. Earlier, Frenchman Joe Wilfred Songa recorded his first win at the O2 Arena, defeating eighth seed Mardi Fish in straight sets in their second meeting. Both men lost their opening matches in three sets to the legends of the game, and after a nervy start from both, Songa had the upper hand throughout, breezing through the second set after taking the first in a tiebreak. Roger Federer now stands a stride group B after two wins, while the match between Songa and Nadal should decide who joins him in the semi-finals. In the doubles, second seed Lodra and Zimenech showed sheer determination to avenge their defeat to Bapana and Qureshi in the Paris quarterfinals, rescuing a seemingly insurmountable situation in the first set and going on to record a straight sets win. Also winning in straights, Murni and Nesta, appearing at the year-end finals for the first time as a team. The French Open champions got the better of Furstenberg and Matkowski in 75 minutes. As both teams won their opening match, the third seeds qualified with this result. The remaining semi-final berth is still up for grabs for all three teams, but the match between the two with a match win each looks to be the decider. Novak Djokovic was officially honoured as this season's number one player in the year-end South African Airways ATP rankings. The 24-year-old collected three Grand Slams and an unprecedented five Masters 1000 titles in a truly glorious season.